We are fighting the war against plastic pollution, which contributes to global warming. So currently in Dipslut, there is no surface delivery where plastic is being picked. Because we need extra rooms, what we have now done at Kentani to make sure that we have enough classrooms for our kids, we are turning plastic and plastic bottles into eco-bricks. We have already constructed one that has been standing for the past two years. The new classrooms that we are going to be constructing will allow us to increase the number of our learners. But the beauty of this project that we are running is really bringing education and environment together. So the opportunity that we have is to show the community around Dipslut how we can take something which is useless to turn it into something useful. How can you get involved? Ecobrick. It's a very easy principle that anyone, whilst you are sitting in your home, you can do. All you need is you take a two litre bottle, you take any plastic that you are collecting in your home, you put it in that two litre bottle until it weighs about 500 to 550 grams. Any one of us can do it. So Kentucky's collection has benefited from this whole project because we used to have 40 students that we could afford in a zinc classroom. Now with this extra eco-brick class, we have been able to increase the number of our students to 70. 16,000 eco-bricks were used to build this classroom. That ensured that we removed an estimate of eight tons of plastic out of the environment. We also created jobs. 20 volunteers were involved in the construction of this classroom. We are going to build a green school. So the green school is going to be made up of four classrooms, a library, an office, and a kitchen. We need at least 77,000 eco bricks. We will be able to avoid almost 21 tons of carbon dioxide to be emitted in the environment. So the new center is gonna benefit about 150 students that are going to use it for extra lessons. We're also going to be using the center for skills development. In total, we are going to see about 300 beneficiaries benefiting from the community green building. A discarded plastic can become somebody's home, a community school or a community clinic. So if we come together, we can all fight and combat global warming by turning plastic into something useful. Join us in this fight. <music>